<laughs> Good morning. I'm happy to see everyone this morning. I hope you can see me. I hope I'm not too pixelated. I hope that clears up soon. Let's see. Yep, I can't change networks in the middle of the call. So that's fun. So I hope that the internet improves while we're doing this and I hope I'm not pixelated the whole time. So um, we're going to give our friends just a few more minutes. It looks like there's still a couple of people that are popping on for our live circle time. I want to remind all my friends this is the one where I won't be able to see or hear you, but you'll be able to see and hear me and I'll share some stuff from my computer screen with you and we'll sing some funny songs and it should be lots of fun. All right. So let's see if I am <laughs> know what I'm doing here again this week. All right. We're going to start with the calendar. Um, we have looked at the calendar. This is our third week in a row looking at the calendar, so it should start to look familiar to you. Today is Thursday. So we're going to sing days of the week and this time we're going to do two different days of the week songs. So first we'll do the one where we snap or if you can't snap you can clap and if you don't want to clap you can click your tongue and I'll snap and click my tongue. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Then the second one, there are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if we were in class, I would say yesterday was Wednesday. So that makes today Thursday. So today is Thursday. And then the month is, you should already know the month. The month is, do you remember? Do you remember? The month is April. So we're going to say April a couple different ways. Put your hand out in front of you. Take your other hand and make a big fist. We're going to say April. And then in your big voice, say April. And then in your teeny tiny little voice, say so today is Thursday, April, and then it's number 16, Thursday, April 16th. So let's see, last time, um, this time we're going to do where you cross over and touch your opposite shoulder. And then we're going to switch hands. Here we go, you ready? We're going to count all the way to 16. We do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay, 16! So it is. Thursday, April 16th, and the year is still 2020. All right, my friends. So let's see. Today, I wanted to share with you an activity with um, animals and animals that hibernate. That was one of our themes this week with the uh, um, lesson plan that went out. So hibernation is when animals go and they hibernate for um, the winter. And so for some animals, that means they completely go to sleep and they don't wake up and they stay somewhere safe and warm and they stay there the whole time it's cold all winter. And then other animals 
go down deep under the ground and they just stay under there the whole time. They might sleep the whole time. They might move around a little bit. Maybe they'll eat a little bit of food or find some water, but they're just not their normal active life. So there's groups of animals that hibernate and groups of animals that do not hibernate. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we are going to sort through animals that hibernate and animals that don't. And we'll talk a little bit about each one and um, talk about them. So I hope that you'll think this is fun because I think it will be lots of fun. So here we go on um, this side over here. Let's see, I think you'll be able to see my mouse, right? Yeah, okay. On this side over here, we're gonna put animals that hibernate. And so I think sometimes people think of a cave when they think of animals that hibernate, but also a lot of animals, they have um, a den where they have a hole and then it goes down under the ground, under the grass, and they, um, and they stay in these holes or dens in the ground. And then on this side, we're going to put animals that do not hibernate. These are animals that stay out all four seasons and are active. So that would be in the spring, summer, fall, and winter. These animals do not hibernate at all. So we're going to pull up our first animal. Do you know what that is? If you do, yell it out. It's a chipmunk. A chipmunk is smaller than a squirrel. I've had some in my yard today running all around. They're so cute. Do you think a, a chipmunk, does it hibernate or does it not hibernate? Let's find out. Are you ready? Make your guess. A chipmunk hibernates. They dig little holes in the ground and they stay under the ground and they sleep for a really long time or they don't come out because it's too cold and so they eat a bunch and they get all this little kind of fat around their cheeks and in their body and their body lives off of that fat when it's winter time so they don't have to come um, out of the ground. So chipmunks hibernate. What about, this is just called a, a tree squirrel. A tree squirrel. What do you think a tree squirrel does? Mm, let's find out. Here we go. A tree squirrel does not hibernate. I don't know if you can remember the last time that it snowed um, in the winter when it was cold, but the tree squirrels, they're still out there running around in the trees at my house. They jump onto the branches and sometimes that makes the snow fall down on me. So tree squirrels do not hibernate. They might stay in their nest a little bit longer than normal, but they still um, are out moving around. They do not hibernate. What about a bear? You think a bear hibernates or does not hibernate? You're right, a bear goes into hibernation. And so a lot of people think that a bear will just go to sleep and be asleep the whole time. And I think there's a couple kinds of bears that do that. Um, but if there's baby bears, they're not gonna be asleep the whole time. They'll probably stay in the cave or in the den with their mom and they might be up moving around a little bit, but they're not gonna come out and hunt in the winter when it's so cold. All right, next we have a bird called a popper will. And so what do you think this bird does? Do you think it hibernates or does not hibernate? Oh, this one does, it hibernates, which is kind of strange for a bird. A lot of birds, because they can fly, they fly away in the winter and they do something called migrating and they fly far away. But this bird just um, makes a little hole in the grass and kind of digs down under the grass a little bit and just stays under the grass for the whole winter. So that's kind of interesting, right? All right, here we have a catfish. Sometimes in our lakes and ponds around the around Kansas City, there's fish called catfish. What do you think? Do you think the catfish go to sleep or do you think that they are awake in the winter? Let's find out. Oh, catfish are still moving around. Even though the top of the lake or the pond might freeze, the um, animals that live underneath, most of them are still moving around and um, and they're still swimming. So at the top of the lake, it will get cold and the top layer will freeze. But down underneath the catfish, he's still swimming around down there looking for food. All right, next we have a cardinal. It's um, a bird with beautiful red feathers. What do you think? Do you think it hibernates or does not hibernate? 
Make your guess. Here we go. It does not hibernate. Hi uh, cardinals are a bird that people think about in winter a lot. They're so bright red and you can notice them on the white, white snow. Oh, next we have a garter snake, a snake that you might find in your garden. They normally don't really bother people. Um, what do we think this snake does? He hibernates. Garter snakes hibernate. They um, go into dens and holes, and there have been people that have found a bunch of snakes in one hole. So you might find more than one snake in a hole in the winter if you were looking for snakes. Ooh, I would not want to look for snakes. Um, here we have a deer, a doe, a deer. Do you think that it hibernates, or do you think it's awake all year round? Let's find out. You were right, the deer, they are always out moving around. In Kansas City, there's so many places you can see deer. Um, at Cerner Kids, sometimes I see them up there on the hill, even in the winter, even in the snow. All right, here comes another one. Let's see what animal we have next. Oh, this is a special kind of turtle called a box turtle. Do you see how his shell's kind of flat at the top up here? This is a box turtle. Do you think that he hibernates or that he does not hibernate? Let's find out. Whoa, he hibernates. So a turtle like this, a box turtle, he can just take his head and his arms and everything and tuck them inside of his shell and he is done. He's hibernating. That's all he has to do. So even people that have pet turtles have noticed that their turtles hibernate for a little while. Not quite as long as they would in nature, but they just go inside their shell and they just stay in there for a while. So I bet they probably try to find someplace kind of safe before they just whoop, go into their shell and stay there for a while. All right, let's see who we have next. Oh, a bobcat. Do you think a bobcat hibernates or do you think a bobcat stays outside all four seasons? Let's find out. Oh, bobcats, they don't hibernate. They um, climb around in the forest, in the woods, in the hills, in the mountains, and they are not hibernating. They are always hunting. All right, next we have a fox. Oh, it's so pretty and red. What do you think a fox does? Does not hibernate. Foxes like to hunt and they're still hunting in the winter. All right, I think we have one more animal. Oh yeah, this is called a wood frog. Do you think that a wood frog hibernates or does not hibernate? Let's see. If you guessed hibernate, you were right. A wood frog, uh, I learned something really cool about wood frogs. Wood frogs, they hibernate and not only do they go underground into the mud or the dirt and they kind of go underneath and dig their little hole, they actually freeze. Their whole body is made so that it can freeze. Their blood will freeze and their lungs will freeze and their whole body will freeze. And then when winter is over and they thaw out, they just come right back to life like nothing ever happened. That's so crazy. I've never, I didn't know that until just now. So isn't that cool? That is called a wood frog. So I hope that you had fun talking about different kinds of animals with me and what they do in the winter and which ones um, are waking up right now. So like I said earlier, I saw a little chipmunk outside in my yard um, because he's He's done hibernating. It might be cold a couple more days, but it won't be enough that there's, you know, like inches and feet of snow like we had in the winter. So those animals that have been hibernating, they're ready to wake up. They're ready to come out and start finding food. So let's see. Um, we are pretty much done with that, but I did want to see if you guys wanted to sing a couple silly songs with me. I know that we always like to sing songs when we have circle time. So let me get pulled up and ready for that. Are you ready? Well, since we were just talking about animals that hibernate, I thought the first song we should sing is um, Grizzly Bear. So I'm going to put on, oh, there it is, some silly bear ears to show you guys. And we can sing Grizzly Bear. Will you sing with me? Okay, here we go. 
A grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. A grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. Cause if you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get really mad. Whoa. <laughs> oh, let's see. Our friend Haven wants to know what turtles eat. Um, hi, Haven. I think that turtles eat all kinds of different leaves and maybe some bugs. I have to do some research and find out. Oh, what do frogs eat? I know that frogs eat lots of little bugs. Um, I always think of them as eating flies and things like that, but... I know that they eat lots of little bugs. All right, let's see. What should we sing next? We're going to sing. Oh, I haven't sung this song in a long time. I thought it would be fun. You ready? This one is about apples up in the tree. Sing along if you remember with me, okay? Up in the treetop, way up high, three red apples for my pie. How will I get them to the ground. I'll shake that tree till they fall down. Shake, shake, shake. Watch them fall. Shake, shake, shake. I'll catch them all into my basket. One, two, three. No more apples in the tree. I like that one. I haven't seen that one in a long time. All right, I have one more song picked out for you guys, and I know it's one that a lot of you really, really, really like. So we're going to put on, oh, no, not that. We're going to put on, oh, honey hot dog. <laughs> I know <laughs> you guys like this one a lot. So take one hand and put it out in front of you, and that is going to be your frying pan. Then take your other fingers, wiggle them around. Those are going to be your hot dogs. Put your hot dogs into your frying pan. Here we go. Five little hot dogs frying in a pan. The pan got hot and one went bam. Four little hot dogs frying in the pan. The pan got hot and one went bam. Three little hot dogs frying in the pan. The pan got hot and one went bam. Two little hot dogs frying in the pan. The pan got hot and one went bam. One little hot dog frying in the pan. The pan got hot and one went bam. No little hot dogs frying in the pan. Pan got hot and the pan went bam. Oh, that's so silly. I love that one. I know you guys like that song too. I hope you had fun today and that you learned a little bit about animals that hibernate and animals that don't.